Hello, and I'm Tina, and welcome to Lakeshore Academy. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how we can incorporate PE into our homeschool. Um, there are many different ways that you can do homeschool. You can do it the old traditional way, playing outside, which is one of the best ways to do it. Um, doing activities like playing basketball, baseball, tennis, um, other outside activities. But say, for example, you have those days where you need to do things on the inside because it's raining, or maybe you have a child that has allergies or that's allergic to a lot of different things, and during this time of the year, it's a high pollen count and it aggravates the child. So you need to figure out other ways of doing PE inside. Well, I just want to give you some ideas. Um, if you have a Wii system, a Wii U, or just a plain Wii, they have Wii Sports, which is a very interactive game, which you will be exercising. They also have Just Dance. If you have a Wii, you will be dancing, and it's very, very, it works all the muscles, because I even do it with the kids. But say, for example, you don't, and you're looking for a cheap, inexpensive way to, um, do exercises. Well, I don't know if you know about the um, the ball, the exercise ball, bouncing ball. Well, it's also some exercises you can do. I bought this from an athletic store for $10 with the ball. So it came together, and it was only 10 bucks. and then it comes with this DVD that actually show you various exercises that you can do to help support the core, which is your stomach, your back, your legs, your arms, and and it helps with balance too. But say for example, you want, you love dancing or you would like to learn how to dance and you want to do that for PE. Well, you can get a cheap DVD video, Dancing with the Stars. And I tell you what, I did this and it really works you out. So it's not, it's not playing around. I had to take breaks in between too as well. Say for example, you want to exercise and you want to incorporate into your homeschool, but you can't do the more streaming stuff like this. So, I got this DVD. It says Fabulous Fit 50 and Beyond. So, even though I'm not 50, however, these exercises is relatively low-key, but it still gives you the good impact exercise that you need, but it's not so streamless on your bones. And these ladies are all in shape. And what I like about this DVD, which I've done this also, this DVD that the women um, have different stages. Like we have one that does the advanced, like she does the whole advanced part of the exercise. And she have another lady that does the exercises from a seat. And then another one that does it low impact. So you have three different stages that you can do and you pick whichever stage you want to do it on. But of course, you with any of these exercises, you want to talk with your doctor first before doing this because you don't want to go against your doctor's orders when it's dealing with your health. If you want to do something fun that's totally outside the box, tap dancing. I got this DVD for my kids from Amazon for $6. And I bought cheap $20 tap shoes. I couldn't believe that I was actually able to get a real authentic pair of tap shoes for 20 bucks. So I got these so they can actually do that as well. And say, for example, you can't do that option. Goodwill, people. Goodwill. Twister. This, was at, this version was actually given to me by my cousin. Twister is a good way to do PE. I have different versions of Twister. I bought this. Twister. This came from the Goodwill. I only spent $2.75 for this. And what it does, it plays music, and it has different little things, the mats that you have to stand on, and it tells you, like, which color and stuff like that, and you have to follow the moves and stuff. And it's, like, 144 different da dance sessions, sessions on this, with this set. And then I have also, this one I bought used, too. It was um, $5, and it's called Twisted Moves. So it tells you what to do and how to step on it and it light up and beep up. It's kind of like Simon Says, but except you're twisting around. So that's another good way that you can exercise. If you're looking for another way and money, um, this was a gift. 
So I didn't have to pay for this, but I know that this can be kind of expensive, but this was a gift to me. So we have this as well, Zumba. So we have various different things that we can do. And with this kit, you come with the DVDs and also come with the maracas. So if you're looking for different ways in, in which you can incorporate PEDs or some ways, you can go to the Goodwill to buy different exercise impact games. Or you can look into the cheap little DVD bin. <clears throat> Excuse me that has all the different DVDs and you have to dig for them. You can usually find some good goodies for cheap in that um, bin or discounted bin for exercise. You can also go on Amazon, you can go on eBay, cause I get a lot of stuff from there and you can buy them used. Cause I do buy a lot of different things used. That's how I'm able to get so much stuff because I get it used and then I get it for a relatively very cheap price or someone gifted to me. So that's how I get a lot of my stuff. But anyway, I want to just give you some ideas. And my daughter also has a ballet DVD because she wanted to take ballet, but I couldn't afford to get her ballet lessons. So from Amazon, I bought her the ballet shoes. It was like $6 because it was running like a flash sale. And I bought her the ballet DVD and I'm going to buy her a long body mirror where she could see her whole body and buy her the little tutu. And I'm going to let her follow along with the DVD and practice and also watch a lot of different ballet document documentaries and tutorials to help her with her form and everything like that because I can't afford to let her have those um, specialty classes. So it's different ways that you can get around not having a lot of money. <clears throat> But still give your children, um, let your children experience the different things that other kids are experiencing that takes these different classes because they have so much different free things on YouTube. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they have um, DVDs which teach you every single thing you want to know. And you can do all these things at your own pace. So don't feel bad if you can't afford to do certain things. And also you can just look around in your community for different free things that are happening in your area. Cause I'm pretty sure everybody area have something that's going on. That's free. You just have to search for it a little bit. That's what I do. And it's, and you will be amazed at how many free PE or any other kind of activities that you can find in your um, communities or your nearby community. Sometimes you just have to travel out a little bit. So again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy. I just want to give you some ideas on how you can incorporate PE into your homeschool curriculum. Now, you can pick how long you want them to do these different various activities, um, how many times a day you want them to do it as well. But think outside the box. You can make PE even fun <laughs> with your homeschool and you don't have to go out and pay someone to do the PE for you. You can do it yourself for relatively cheap. Again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy. Have a good day. Bye.